Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Morning Musings is Foundations. I'm doing a series of Morning Musings every day, and I am using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these a while back, and the entire world is transformed since then. If I come across anything that is out of date, I will interrupt myself and give you the most recent information. And at the very end, I will summarize things based on what's going on in the world today, and I have some special offers for you, so stay tuned to the very end to find out what they are. Foundation. I'm finding that whatever people felt were their anchor point has become unstable nowadays. There have been many times in my life where either everything collapsed to my foundation or my foundation was decimated entirely. People who have sought security in money, jobs, and investments are finding things evaporating before their eyes. Those who have counted on relationships are finding their loved ones morphing into completely different characters. Things we believed are solid and real are turning out not to be, thus shaking our belief systems to the core. In reality, this has been going on for entire lives, but usually with just one thing at a time. And we usually have a year or two or three to get over it before the next challenge comes. Now it seems like it's being called into question all at once, and it seems to be happening with everyone, magnifying the experience for all. It's all happening because we're coming to a new level of awareness. It's an increased inner responsibility and a connection with the God self within. We're growing up. We're becoming conscious. It'll be wonderful once we get there, but how do we manage the discomfort as the old illusions fall away? A technique that I relied on for half my life has been grounding. I create, imagine, an energy connection from my first chakra, lower abdomen, down to the center of the earth. It acts as both an anchor or a stabilizer and also for an energy release. When I was grounded, it usually felt like gravity increased and I was less knocked over by whatever was going on around me. My body feels safer when grounded. By imagining it like a trash chute, I could release negative energy out of my space and down to the center of the earth to recycle. I still believe that this can be an effective technique for many people. However, my hologram is changing. My realm of energy work is expanding, and so my technique of grounding needs upgrading as well. When I first started working on this level, I found that I needed multidimensional grounding. I was engaging in parallel universes and parallel dimensions, so all my parallel selves required grounding as well. Back then, I didn't question where I was grounding to. I just did it. I asked a teacher once about grounding, and he said he doesn't ground to the center of the earth anymore because the earth is dying. I don't think that's true but I do think that energy is being withdrawn from the hologram, so it feels that way to most people. I think there will always be a playground Earth, but it will feel different. So I will stop myself there. It is true, the hologram is changing, and energy is changing, and we're all upgrading. And just like we don't need to plug into a telephone line to connect to the cosmic internet, we can connect wirelessly. The sense of centering in our body and connecting to the center of the hologram, if you will, is different as well and requires an upgraded technique. So I find when I try to do old grounding, it is taking me to an old paradigm that just isn't effective anymore. One of my new techniques is to just place a point of consciousness into my lower abdomen and it brings all the focus into there, and it provides a similar sense of stability without cording into the old paradigm. So when I wrote this, I said what started happening for me the last summer was whenever I grounded using this old technique, not just my body, but my environment, I would feel this sort of wave of energy instead, which is my sense of being in the 5D or an expanded consciousness shift. So what I found then was the center of the earth disappeared and it seemed as if there was nothing below but outer space. So maybe we really are on a giant holodeck on the Enterprise after all. I remember how disorienting and uncomfortable that was because I realized all my techniques were outdated and I had to upgrade them. And what I find now is rather than being attached to a particular technique or a system is to be very improvisational because change is coming rapidly all the time. It's become a lot more comfortable this way. Back to the blog post, I talk about a teacher uh, teaching dropping down, which is moving from your head to your heart and also can involve dropping into your solar plexus and your lower abdomen. I thought I made that technique up. 
I obviously got it from somewhere else. So it's kind of like grounding into your first chakra rather than grounding from it. Dropping down happened automatically with me when I grounded to the center of the earth. Grounding into my first chakra is taking conscious practice, however. So I just offered that to you as the way that I do it nowadays. A visual image that came to me as I was considering how to conclude this blog post was swimming in a strong current which we're all doing at the moment. And trying to have your feet on the ground isn't possible or necessarily productive. However, if you stay centered and focused within yourself, you maintain the presence of mind and navigate your way through the flow. It all comes down to bringing your energy and focus back to you and coming from within you. Your foundation isn't in money, job, relationships, or an external God. It's in you as consciousness. Try connecting to the inner you, you for universe, or you as consciousness, and see how this helps you in the coming days or months. So if you're going through any energetic changes and have some interesting things to share, please put them in the comments below. I love reading your comments. And if you want to have a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, it's called the Skybox Technique. So click on it in the link below and it can help you have a bigger picture of what's going on in your life. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. I do individual sessions where I take a look at the essence of who you are and what's going on in your life today. And I can answer any questions that you might have. And I can also help you with energy changes as well. And if you want to learn how to do this for yourself, go to my website, joan-newcomb.com. And in my coaching special, I tailor make it just for you. I work with you one-on-one. -on -one, and I also give you specific consciousness techniques for you to transform your life. So go to my website, joan-newcomb.com and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.